Well. That was interesting. And I suppose that was... Well, that was my... Oh! 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 The balloons and everything are gone. I... I think that was it. Whoa, 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 Stanley, whoa. I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just... It's those figurines. Those figlers. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines just one more time. Huh. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> and now the figurines are going to be part of the memory zone. On, okay, I'm going to say this right now. This will be my last time playing this, not that I'm going to do a review. But before I even do the review, I will say that I consider the the first ending, the one where you actually just follow all instructions and then it gets to the end in like 10 minutes, I consider that ending and this ending right here to be the true endings. The Stanley Parable. Wait, 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 does this mean that I can in fact go, does this mean I can go into the infinite hole again? Here's where it all began. The first collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. Oh, fuck, I thought I could pick that up. I thought this looked familiar. And here was a second Stan Lorene. You found this one all on your own, just by poking around in the boss's bathroom. You did that, Stanley. I'll be honest. Back then, I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone <laughs> six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. Thank you. Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? Oh, shit. I bet the game remembers. I'm gonna go with under stairs, because I remember getting one from here. I hope I'm right. I no, 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 no. Under the stairs was the fourth Damn. place you found a fig Anley, not the third. Well, I guess perhaps I shouldn't be surprised. Memories like these are so precious and so cherished that they all just sort of blend together, don't they? You know what? Kinda. If under the stairs feels like the third place you found a collectible, then who am I to go making judgments? <laughs> Let's see, what came next? Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. Oh well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. I should have picked up that first one. Oh well, too late now. This was oh, the fifth yep. mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was by the red and blue doors. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. How you found it by the narrator. What's that in there? It's mini stand number five.
This game is great. You found it near the red and blue doors. Thanks for watching. Credits. Everything done by the narrator. Starring Stanley. <sighs> Takes you back, doesn't it? I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. Well, thank you for your... And then, Stanley, then we huh. came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here in the warehouse. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. What is the throne? Oh, the TV. You are in the present. And then there was no more, because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, Memory Zone. Uh, no, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. Works for me. It gives me an opportunity to pick up the first one Okay, yes, one after this all. spot in the warehouse. I remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the Memory Zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going, I want more. <laughs> he really loves these figurines. I, dude, this game is great. I love how it keeps doing stuff like this. I really do. Like, this is really, this is really cool. Let's leave out the red door this time. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? I do. Yes, I love <laughs> that video. I loved it too, just because you made it. Still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Good room though, a solid room. Not for me either. These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have muted the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very <laughs> glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. Of course. Although in reality, this is the, uh... In reality, this is the, uh, the thing for it. This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. This is it. The very yep. first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? I don't remember. Collect them all. Oh, yeah, the, uh, can I do the infinite hole? I want to do the infinite hole. Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then, but time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. Look how much fun the past is. I want more. More memories. As do I. 
And that's me trying to jump and failing at it. Oh, Ooh. yes. The two doors. Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. <laughs> I assume they both lead to the same. Yep. And now the beginning. And before everything else, there was your office. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? No. Nope. There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Yes, I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then, I was... I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then, somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy, and I came up with... Well, came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions. He would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But ah, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling his story so very much. Okay, here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Couldn't agree more. Let's do it one more time. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley I decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The good old bucket. Just Stanley and the bucket. Off on another thrilling adventure together. I should not have picked up the bucket. <laughs> oh well. I don't think I can put it down Stanley now. clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he... Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes. Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the Bucket both wondered to themselves. monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. And the bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. 
Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human. Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Hmm. Was it over? Yes, they had done it. Stanley and the Bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The Bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support. What? Wait. What was happening? Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the Bucket not about to be freed? An unbearable silence filled the room lingering in uncertainty until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the bucket to leave. Even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the bucket, needed the soothing warmth of the bucket, or go to any lengths not to part with the bucket. No, no, no. Stanley can't leave this place, not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms. Not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the end of it. So, uh... That was the last go-through I do. And, um... Now it's time for the review. So... Hope you tune into that, too. Unlike with the rest of this playthrough, in the review, you will see me. So... We'll see how that goes.